All right, so um, I got printed out a few new cards for um, a new custom deck that I made. I've, it's kind of been in a work in process. My first two, I don't think I put it on this channel, but the first two I made didn't have any backs. They were just um, printouts from the internet. I just wanted to find the proper lamination cardstock. Um, it's actually not cardstock, which is another reason why it's kind of in a developmental phase. So in this phase, I got a background this time, card back, and um, this painter, I always wanted to make cards because I love his paintings. So he, this is uh, Gemini, the two Geminis. You have Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius, Virgo, Libra. Look, it's my manto, Dionysus. <laughs> See, if, checkerboard. If y'all know what that means, y'all know what that means. Uh, Sagittarius and um, Leo and Scorpio. Uh, I also found a bunch of images that I actually have a few, at least 20 more cards to do. I just wanted to, I didn't have time, the, the store was closing, so I could only print out this bunch. So I'll do a part two with the rest of them. I'm gonna go tonight and get them done. Uh, this I'm gonna represent the moon, and it couples with this one to make the sun and the moon. And it makes the balance of the scales, right? Um, I took this for lovers. And there's my Capricorn, that's me. The headless goat. And then I found these online. And at first I was going to use the template and um, impose my own images, maybe with the names. I could, I could in the future, but I found a different template. So, but I liked the four elements and I thought that would be kind of like the queens. Queen of water, queen of fire, air, and earth. Um, I thought they were so beautiful. So it, I don't know if they're from an, a deck already or someone's concept art, I'm not sure. Uh, I was just kind of pinned on Pinterest. So uh, I may, I may do something in, if I want a black card and do a black deck. Um, I'm going to, my next deck is going to so I think a lot of the images that I'm going to use to do to complete this one, um, I'm going to also do with a white, a big, like a bigger size, um, kind of like just a square with white background. I'm debating a, a motif or not. Maybe I think I might just not and just have square picture, you know, King of Cups or whatever, you know, whatnot. Um, so I think I'll do that, but. Anyways, I will post that once that one's complete. But they won't have the astrology ones. That is, I'm keeping them just specifically to this. I may, I could make an astrology deck, which would be cool. Maybe I could, no, yeah, maybe, I'll see. <laughs> I'll see, I'll see when that time comes. Um, actually, something, a motif like that, but with like a celestial sides instead of black would be kind of cool and uh you know maybe make that big and then kind of write i uh, have some for all the planets saturn moon mercury venus the uh, elementals oh so i could keep these as the uh, elementals um earth fire blah 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 and then put you know an earth or whatever as the picture um yeah uh yeah, that's it. I could, yeah, an astrology deck would be kind of cool, right? The planets, uh, maybe the houses. Uh, yeah. Anyways, okay, we're looking at part five here. <laughs> we're only on part one. Anyways, so that's uh, so that's that. Um, I will do another reading actually, because this one I will put on my channel, my tarot ch channel. Um, I think I'll upload on both, actually, because, uh, you know, it's kind of cool to show, you know, now that I'm playing around making these cards, you know, you can pretty much make anything, you know, draw your own stuff, and, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd like to make my own images, too, you know, then I'm not taking off the internet, you know, it's like someone else's work, I mean, I'm not going to sell them or anything, it's just really for personal use, so I don't need any technically any permission I suppose anyways 
I suppose. There's a fine line there. Um, oh, and uh, yes, High Priestess. I'm going to use this as High Priestess. Um, again, you have Isis uh, right here. Uh, she's usually with the High Priestess represented as uh, with the pillars and the Torah. And she's got the keys. She's very full of intuition and, you know, I mean... Most of you who knows what these things mean, I don't really have to explain it. It's just like explaining that. Okay, if you don't understand it, well, eh, they're cool cards, right? Um, High Priestess, you know what? A lot of, oh, no, you know what? Emperor, interesting. Here's, um, this is the Golden Tarot. Check the checkerboard again. Floor for the emperor. Oh my emperor. Oh my emperor. What a pain in the ass he can be, that emperor. I'm telling ya. I'm telling ya. I'm telling ya. Oh, and also is the uh, king of cups. Whoa, sorry. Yikes. This is what happens when you're holding and you don't tripod your shit. Uh, another checkerboard, but interesting how it's gold, that one. The King of Cups, he's full of emotion, but he's also withdrawn, in a sense. He's not as open and emotional as the, um, as the, what a, as the, uh, Queen of Cups is. The world. See how, see how there's, like, actual swords in that sign? Huh. Swords is usually uh, mental. Mental communication. Um, so if the sun is the world, actually. It, wow. Why did I say that was the sun? That's the world. Kind of look. The world is a sun there. That means something to some people, I think. Um, pentacles. King of Pence. And there's my Queen of Cups. She's the emotional one. Oh, they're just kind of hanging out, and he's like, I'm doing my shit, and she's doing her shit. Man, why is it so hard to find the high priestess? I'm trying to prove my point here, and uh, she's hiding from me. <laughs> well, we found a few checkerboards, I guess. Oh, boom. This is what's happening right now. We're at Wheel of Fortune, guys. We're in a shift. And if you don't feel that shift, well, I don't know what to tell you. Sorry for the kids being a pain in the butt again. Temperance, she's around too. She's around too. More checkerboards. I think all the uh, royals are on checkerboards, yep. Yep. Or is some of you doing that? Just hanging around? The hangman, they're like, you know what? There's too much crap going on, so I'm just gonna hang out. Finally, man, man, oh man. It took like almost like three quarters of the deck to find her. Dang, man. And here's another checker. Okay, um. In this deck, she kind of looks kind of like she's a queen, eh? Like, I, I'll tell. The High Priestess has a lot of, like, Pope type, um, a Pope type headpieces on. Um, she is actually known to be female Pope. It's just, you know, obviously because of what Catholics have done to the religion, they removed the possibility of women being up there. And once that was happened, well, a High Priestess became the Popess. Um, yeah, so she has her Torah still. Um, usually it's kind of in a scroll, but here it's in the book. So she's holding on to that Torah, man. In between those pillars, the 11, the 2, 11, 2, 11. <laughs> no, that would be X1. <laughs> but, but, it's all in how you look at things, right? Anyways. So, all right, okay, you know what, let's see, all right, okay, here, I'm going to break it down for you, okay, 
All right. Fill your hearts with love, with emotion. Tell the truth. Right now, it, we're going through a shift. People are being awakened. People are being ascended. People are just dancing in the moonlight. Okay, dance in the moonlight. No, no, no BS, man. Just say it how it is. If someone has a problem with you saying it how it is, then the hell with them. Okay, be in your truth. If you're in your truth, it doesn't matter if they're not. Okay, that's what you're important. You have the ace. You have the cup. Use it. Well, we've been over her. All right, and then we got Hangman and Queen of Wands. Okay, she's a badass. You're just hanging out. Are you waiting for someone? Are you waiting for someone? You know what? If she's just hanging out, she's kind of waiting too. Who's waiting on who? Okay. Who's waiting on who? Oh, double kings. Does this represent two people in your life? Do you have someone that's got their back to you? Because, you know, this guy's full of emotion. But remember what I said before about him holding back, okay? He doesn't really want to show it. This one does. He wants to speak. He wants to speak, but this one just wants to feel. Okay. Are you hanging out waiting for that? Temperance, King of Wands, and Emperor. He rules. Look at him, man. He's got he's got his shield. He's, he, he's he's ready to command. He's got the pillars. He's got the eleven. Okay, he's got the eleven. He fights for what he believes in. Okay, where is he commands? You know what? Um, where did I put them? Does that make more sense? It's more likely to put your body part on your legs. Yeah. That's because the body part's on your legs. Karmic wheel spins. Once the cycle's done. Queen of Cups for the ladies. Remember what I said about this. Okay, she's got that cup. Know your truth. King of Pentacles. He knows what he wants. He works hard for what he wants. This is what the ladies want. All right, this is what the ladies want. So after that wheel turns, okay, you speak your truth, you know your truth, and you're strong in your truth, he'll see it. Okay, but before that wheel turns, right there's lots of conflict lots of male ego energy wants to speak the truth wants to stand their ground wants action doesn't know how to communicate that action and stuck in his ways but that's when lady temperance comes shining her here and again the sword sun the swords of truth okay the sword of truth comes out with the rainbow and she's balancing the water the the alchemy okay very um toth crawly um but she's an angel right so she's not a fallen right but but that doesn't mean that you don't have the balance between the two remember that okay Oh, I pulled out Virgo. Wow, all right. Um, I didn't even mean, I meant to do this. But see how Virgo's like temperance? Okay, balance the scales. Night and day. What are your dreams telling you? And what are your messages that you're getting during the day? Sorry, I have really dirty hands. <laughs> And Virgo, Virgo's about truth. Virgo's about seeing the light, intuition, truth. Okay? Alright, that's your reading for today, I guess. I didn't even mean to do a reading.